guys, so today I came to you guys with a different type of video. Um, today I'm going to be making a vegan mukbang show. Um, and if you guys don't know what mukbang is, it's pretty much a Korean style um, eating show where hosts they talk as they eat and since I'm going vegan I was looking for what type of food to eat while I talk and then I came across this. This is a Korean style spicy noodle. When this first came out this was actually like one of the spiciest noodles out in the world so um, yeah there's like a lot of challenges that were made and the challenge itself is um, you have to finish the whole entire serving of the noodle without drinking any water or um, eating anything. So I am going to be eating this whole entire thing and while I'm eating, I also want to talk about the eight cognitive functions for the sake of the entertainment. Um, yeah, I'm going to be kind of like showing you guys how I torture myself. Even though it says it's chicken flavor, it's actually vegan, um, the artificial chicken flavor. <laughs> looks so freaking spicy. I don't know if I should do this, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna do it for my viewers. Let's talk about, um, I guess, the perceiving processing functions. So we have NE, which is, you know, my dominant function. Um, so NE. It's an exploration function. It needs to um, be exposed to the external world um, to see the possibilities, to see the potentials, to make connections with people, with ideas, with concepts, with theories. Um, yeah, and also is very active, hyperactive. Um, it's very instant way of um, communicating with the world, perceiving information, making, um, not I wouldn't say making, but oh I'm not even eating guys, I gotta, gotta take that first bite. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, um, so you know people with any as their dominant function, these people have very scattered, um, I guess, approach in life because they're constantly perceiving different um, connections, different possibilities, different ideas and concepts and theories and objects and people. Anything new, we're fascinated by it. Um, so I guess a good way of concluding what any is, it's an exploration. Explora Explore, exploration function that perceives and processes information, okay? Okay, and let's move on to NI. NI is... What did I write here? I don't want to like give you guys the wrong information. So, okay. NI is intuitive. I mean, NE is also intuitive, NI is also another intuitive function. Um, this is a reflective function that is um, kind of like ponders the meaning of life, it ponders the connections, it seeks for deeper meaning, um, it wants to know the truth, you know, it wants to find the meaning in everything that happens. Um, it connects, it also connects patterns that a person um, has noticed in the past um, and they do it like subconsciously. Very withdrawn, reflective process of gathering information. So um, people with NI dominant um, as their dominant function, these people um, need a lot of time to reflect and to find and to search meaning in things. Um, <clears throat> And I and any, they both have a lot of like abstract, um, because they're both intuitive. Uh, they focus a lot on like, like the future, like what could happen, what does this mean, instead of like focusing on like what is. Um, yeah. So, 
I guess what I want to say about Anna is that it's uh, it ponders and reflects meanings that is based on personal experiences. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a big bite. <laughs> Okay, it's starting to like. Oh, okay, it's starting to like get me. Oh my god. Huh, okay. Other processing perceiving functions are SE and SI. So, SE. <laughs> SC is a function that focuses on external stimulation. So um, these people, or okay, let's just not talk about people. Let's talk about the function itself. So uh, it's very sensitive to external world, um, and it is very in touch with the reality. So. Very factual, very um, object, very objective, very, um, I guess, in the moment, in the present type of function. Um, they're very, uh, it's very aware of its surrounding. <clears throat> the people who have, let's talk about people now. People who have SC as their dominant function or auxiliary function, they're very receptive to what's happening around them um they're very on their feet ready to get in action um yeah they're not very abstract uh they don't really like these sc is not of abstract or intuitive function it's really like gathering and processing information through what is literal like what is out here externally um, now, SI, it's also another processing perceiving function. Um, it is a function that kind of like is rooted in a person's mind. It's kind of like what should be, not NI. NI is kind of more like searching for deeper meaning in life, but SI is kind of more like this is the right way or this is stable um, kind of like detail oriented it focuses on like laying the groundwork um, and not getting to actually not even getting to it's like SI doesn't like adventure it holds back from exploring you know, it's very literal, goes by the book, very controlled. Um, yes, yeah, so I am an ENTP. I have SI as like my inferior function. So it's always kind of battling any because they're both processing functions, but my any is my dominant, right? So any and SI is always tug at tug of war. Um, SI wants to settle down, wants to follow the convention, whereas and he's like, nah, screw that. F you, I'm gonna do my thing. So, you know, it's like I always have that thing. But, um, yeah, so S size that. Now, <sighs> okay, now let's talk about um, what else is there to talk about? Okay, let's make, let's talk about judging functions. We have F E and F I. <clears throat> F E, um, F E gathers um, judgments from external influences. So people who have auxiliary, dominant, um, even tertiary um, function um, has, if they have FE as their dominant auxiliary or tertiary functions, these people really need external validation. These people make judgments, judgments based on what people want um, to um, create harmony, to create balance, um, 
it's uh it focuses externally, right? So people who have FE are very good communicators. I'm not saying that people who don't have FE are not good communicators, but I'm saying FE is kind of like socializing um, function. And um, yeah, it's kind of like. Yeah, like it's it, it, a good way of like explaining FE is like what do people need instead of what do I need right so FE is a harmonizing judging function okay now let's talk about FI now FI is also another judging decision-making function this function focuses on personal um, uh, knowledge of what is right and what is wrong and what I want to do what I don't want to do um, <clears throat> it's very confident in its own values, its own ideas. Um, it's not affected by others. Um, very strongly opinionated, um, and it's kind of like a self guidance, like self moral compass that people with FI follow. Um, let me just take another bite before I say more stuff. Okay, you know what, the funny thing is like when I'm talking, I'm so focused that I don't really notice about what's happening to my mouth. Let's talk about another judging or decision making function, which is TI or TE. I mean, they're both, but or TI and TE. So TI, TI is a analytical and logic based function this one um, it's a function that focuses on categorizing um, understanding um, and collecting data um, it's an inductive uh, form of gathering judgments gathering information to make a judgment um, and it kind of like puts priority of it so knowledge and logic comes first before anything else um and this one uh ti um when it makes a judgment when it makes a decision it kind of considers the issue or whatever the problem from all different angles um so it's very accurate when it forms an idea when it forms um a conclusion or decision the answer is 99 percent of the time once the information that was gathered was collected it's very accurate um, it seeks to find the ultimate answer and um, it's an internal process right because it's a thinking internal thinking function um, so it's not very affect it's not affected by the conventional knowledge that people share it's a very personal internal um, judging process um, that's not easily affected by people oh, and I know this because I am an ENTP so um, I use TI as my auxiliary function um, when I'm in my TI mode when I'm thinking a lot when I'm making judgments I really look at the things in a very objective very analytical logical manner um, and I always look at things from different angles now, TE, it's also another judging decision-making function. Um, it's a function that is very pragmatic in terms of implementing its decision. It's very active and externally um, oriented. Um, it creates order through external um, external arrangements um, 
So people with TE as their dominant or auxiliary or tertiary, even tertiary, they have a very, they have exceptional ability to execute and implement, um, to uh, logically explain, to logically um, create systems. Um, these people think out loud. Um, they show their thinking process by demonstrating it. You know, um, they're very effective and logical. Yeah. Um, so people with TE are kind of known as like bossy. You know, they they're charismatic. They're very reliable. Um, yeah. So that's that. Um, what else? What else? You know what? I think I'm done. But, um, now that I'm done, let's put this book away. Let's continue eating. Um, so that you guys can see more of my suffering, you know, for your entertainment. For your entertainment, guys. Mmm. You know what? Yeah, it's weird. Now that I stop talking, it just tastes spicier. I don't know, man. Oh, by the way, I have my. <laughs> have my almond milk on the side with me um, and I'm gonna be drinking this after I finish this noodle so I <sighs> can't wait um. yeah but cognitive functions are not that hard guys it's, I mean maybe I just like overly simplified it I think that's what I did to be very honest but um I think that's like a really good way of um, understanding the basis of what each functions do. But uh, yeah, if you want like more thorough <sighs> thorough analysis, um, yeah, this is not the video for you. I'm sorry for telling you this now because I'm sure that I just wasted like 20 minutes of your life. Um, but um, yeah. I mean, if you just want like a really good understanding of what each cognitive functions do, um, very generally, um, yeah, I hope this video helped. Um, okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna like <clears throat> pass out. Noodles is really good though. Um, Okay. Woo! Okay. 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 Oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm good. Guys, I'm going to die. What? <laughs> Did you hear that? Sound like. Some like golem or something. Anyways, um, yeah. <sighs> oh, I have a banana as well. Cause I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. Why is this hitting me now? Why is this so spicy? Things that I do for you guys. Um. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay. Um. I'm gonna go. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Um. So if you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Please leave a like and your comment as well if you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I uh, hope you guys also enjoy. <sighs> hope you guys also 
found the cognitive functions kind of um, helpful. I don't know. I don't know if I explained it enough, but um, yeah, that was just my take on it. If you guys want more like scientific analysis, then um, yeah, you guys should go somewhere else. But I did what I could do. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.